when they do a workout and they put their knees, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll bring their knees in, which puts a lot of pressure on them that they doesn't need. So what we do is, you know, you make sure when we do things with like bands and you have to like move with them or do certain workouts, you make sure that your knees are all just parallel instead of kind of conforming into each other. It's kind of like a little bit of angles. Yeah. So when I broke my finger, like and I did a cast after the cast that were split, they had to like give me like a stress ball from a certain squeeze for right. a long time. Would that be an A little bit. I feel like that'd be more of like PT. Not really kinesiology. But on our track. If you were a pitcher and um, you might have gone to where he works and and worked on throwing with that hand that's now healed, but it's maybe not healed to go into your sport. It's just healed to be a human again, sort of. Yes. Why don't you just get crutches? <laughs> you do get crutches after you go to uh, surgery, and then once you're in uh, PT. So then once you're able to put pressure on it and be able to walk on whatever you're using, or as your shoulder, then you're able to like, just say it's your knee. After you are able to put pressure on it, you do everything in your knee's fine, but you can work with it, then that's when you would go. So you would be on crutches at one point. So, any more questions? Um, so yeah, basically being talkative and kinetic, do I want to be more hands-on with them? Do I want to, you know, kind of lead them through it, do it, give them an example, or do I want to just talk with them about it, tell them what to do, and then let them go? And, he, and my uh, mentor basically just said, um, most people enjoy you talking with them, giving them a little bit of an example, giving them, you know, just going with them. Make sure you just be with them. Uh, well, we'll go through one more question. Um, when you're guiding patients through their exercise and warming up and warm ups, should I critique them on everything they do until they do it right, or tell them once in a while when they're really screwing up? And uh, he just said, just basically pay close attention. Uh, make sure you you correct them when they need it. Uh, constant reminders always help. Don't you know? Be, every time they screw up, get right on them. But just a constant reminder periodically to get them on the right track. Uh, what I've learned through that interview is uh, to be personal with the patient. You want to try to open yourself up. Don't be totally vulnerable, but you know, just make sure you're good and personal with them. Again, communication is key. Do what they do. Do what they need to, for them to learn the most. Every person is different and uh, what they need. Uh, next, we'll go to uh, the blog. Blog is just kind of what I did every, I had to do, I made this weekly, uh, majority of this is gonna be on my blog. You're gonna see a great picture of me here in a second. I think you passed it. Was that intentional? Uh, we won't go through all these, but we'll just try to go every every couple. Um, correct this mentorship. Uh, I thought this mentorship would allow me to learn skills and uh, abilities that would help me in life and college. Uh, I really wanted to give my mentor 110% of my attention and my energy that I could to help them help them go through their job and what they need to do and just make it easier on them. Um, I thought this mentorship would help me in the future by giving me and by developing skills, my people skills and social skills. Um, so that I, when I get to the real world, I'm not just, you know, went through school and learned what I need to there and then not be able to actually talk with people and have real world skills. Um, let's see. Um, let's see the picture here. Uh, understanding work ethic. Um, I, so I guess, if I remember right, what I had to do for this is I had to find a leader that kind of I wanted to roll after and you know be able to kind of copy a little bit in the way I work. And I chose uh, one of our former presidents, Ronald Reagan. He showed outstanding initiative when he was in office. He worked days and endless hours for the country. He was one who um, broke down the Berlin Wall. He um, He's sometimes credited with taking out some of our hostages from, uh, I think it was Iraq. Iran. And right, Iran. Um, and he was, he's also can be um, credited for helping end the Cold War. And uh, I just thought 
being able to do all that and the time that he did and all the work that he did, I thought he would be a good person to um, copy in that. Picture with me and my other mentor. And we can do one more. Uh, the final essential question. To me, my essential question, how is helping train and learning that human body going to help extend my social abilities is a good representation of what I'm looking for in the program. Uh, it stayed the way, wait, it has stayed the way it is because there is, hasn't been anything need to change it. It really has been a great baseline for what I'm in this program for. I wanted to help my social and communication skills because I thought that's really what I needed to work on most from what I've just known and critiqued on for in my life. And you know, I wanted to make sure I kept my uh, physical uh, abilities up because I know, you know, obviously keeping a good physical, keeping good physical shape can help you just in life. You know, always being in good shape is a good thing. Um, let's see, anything else? I think that's it for now. Um, are there any more questions before this is over? Yes? Are there any famous people that went through kinesiology? Tons. Um, so, my mentor has actually helped a ton of people. Does any of you know John Smoltz? No. no. Former picture of the Braves. They're young. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Andrew Jones. These are just kind of, I'm just going to. Different, I don't think he's all chipper. But, um, y'all know. He's helped tons of different people from different, you know, organizations. He's helped Bobby Cox. I don't know who that is. He was one of the, he was the former Braves uh, general manager when they won the World Series. Yeah, these are a lot of famous people that you guys are just too young to know, but yeah, I know a lot of they are. He's helped a lot of football players. If you go into the office, he has a whole wall of just pictures with him and different people. I'm trying to think of any, like, football player, like, famous football player you know. <laughs> um, actually, I was actually fortunate. I think it's I think it's Juju or Jojo. He's a was a former Braves pitcher. I think he's now with the I want to say the Dodgers. But yeah, he's a Braves. He's a uh, he's a pitcher in the MLB. I saw him a couple times while he came in. But yes, yeah, there are a lot of famous people that go through this. That especially that's my mentor has uh, worked with. Any more questions? Yes. I have not. Uh, I actually I helped um, the Braves announcer and former pitcher. I can't remember his name, but I did. I did help him. He gave me. Comp I wore. I didn't bring my uh, clothes that I wanted to wear, but I was wearing jeans and boots, and he actually gave me a compliment on the boots. So that was really. Cool. <laughs> yes. Do any people have to go through kinesiology that don't that didn't you know have to go through it when they were playing sports? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, if let's say you fall and you tear your ACL, or you fall and you dislocate your shoulder. And after going through PT or surgery, you could go through kinesiology, yes. Any more questions? No, no? Well, thank you for your time and your cooperation.